today's topic, the Canny Edge Detection Algorithm, as described by me, Sergio Fernandez. Okay, in this video we're going to explain how to take an uh, image and extract the edges out of it. Pretty much get an outline of, of the objects in the edges using a process called the Canny Edge Detection. Pretty much what the Canny Edge Detection is, is just uh, a set of filters applied to uh, an image. So we're going to take an image here of Bruce Lee and we're going to extract the edges out of this picture. Uh, this is useful for several things, mostly uh, object and face detection uh, field, but um, although we don't have to, it makes life a lot easier if we convert this image to grayscale. So our first step of what we're going to do is take this color image and convert it to grayscale. Okay, now we've taken the color image, we converted it to grayscale. We've used, um, we could simply take the red, green, and blue component of every image, add them up and divide by three. That's a very simple way of doing it. But it appears that the eye perceives different color, the intensity of different color differently. Uh, it perceives the green more intense than other color and the blue less intense. So what this uh, gray filter does which I will explain every individual step in another video. I'm just going to go through the general process of getting the the, the edge detection. But it takes um, the red, and it 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 it, it apply it takes a it takes the color, and if it has red, it turns it into about uh, twelve percent of the amount. I mean, about twenty percent of the uh, image. If it has green, it makes it about 70%, and the rest, which is about 12 or 10%, it makes it blue. And it does a pretty good uh, job at it. I mean, this is a pretty good grayscale image of, uh, of, of the color I original color image. So now that we converted the image to grayscale, now we're actually going to go through the Gaussian blur uh, to the Kanye edge detection process by applying several fil filters to the image. The first filter we're going to apply is called the Gaussian Blur. Pretty much we're just going to blur the image out to make it smoother. So this is it. It's the same image except it's been smoothed out a little bit. This is going to be important um, to in order for us to extract the, the edges later on. So now that we blur the image uh, a little bit using ga Gaussian Blur, we're going to go through the next step. The next step is called the Sobel filter. Again, I will explain what these each individual uh, steps are in detail later on. I'm just going through the ne general process right now. So right away, this filter does a lot. This filter pretty much, it's already extracting the the main part of the edges, which uh, some stronger edges detail, some lighter edge details. Later on, we're going to want to get rid of all these little extra little things and just enhance the the features around the mouth, the eyes, the outline of the body, and so far. But the Sobel filter, uh, it's already gotten, done a, a pretty good job of uh, getting a, an outline of uh, Bruce Lee's face. The next filter we're going to add is the edge direction filter. The this filter, what it does is it it still looks uh, about the same, but what it did is it, it enhances it enhanced certain edges, and. Um, other edges, it seems to get rid of it, but pretty much what it's doing is it's enhancing the the important edges. The 
the next step now maximum suppression that's what it's called so let's apply this filter and let's see what the image looks so far how the image looks so far okay so what this uh, filter did it made the outline kind of finer it's making it more look like a sketch so uh, this is what this filter has done so far make everything look like a pencil outline so let's go to the next step we're going to apply a double threshold removing certain pixels that are either too low on the threshold we want or too high okay so this filter is already making it look like uh, like a pen sketch kind of uh, it's gotten rid of a lot of the kind of lower dark gray details after this we're going to go through one last filter which we're going to remove a lot of the these little things that we don't want and we're just going to get a nice little outline of, of Bruce Lisa's face So this is it. This is the the last filter applied. We started off with, with this picture of Bruce Lee's face. We ended up with uh, an outline of his face here. So that's the the final canny edge detection image based on those five or six filters that we put it through. Uh, I will explain in detail later on, probably in another video watch every what every sim li single little step of the um of the uh, of of the edge det of the cutting edge detection what uh, how every little step works in detail but this is it so we took on original color images we converted to grayscale we went through several filters to get an outline of Bruce Lee's face thank you and i'll see you in another video Um, by the way, the final step is called age tracking by hysteresis, in case I didn't mention it. Thank you.